What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Madison and Christian here. Today we're getting into She-Hulk episode eight. Now, unfortunately, last episode, we were right about Josh. He ended up being a bad guy. We saw him um, take a copy of Jen's cell phone. He may or may not have even taken her blood already. And then we did see him messaging someone called Hulk King, which we don't know who that is yet. But after reading some of y'all's comments, I am kind of convinced it could be Emil Blonsky. Um, the abomination even though he says he's reformed now which would definitely suck to learn that because last episode um, him and Jen did seem like they were getting along and I was just happy for Jen that she was finally feeling comfortable with herself so it would be pretty upsetting to find out Emil was kind of behind it all along right so this should be a good episode we're happy to get into it for y'all so let's do it let's do it the store might be closed <gasps> but you forgot about the guard frog the guard frog? <laughs> Let's go. The hell is a guard frog? I think it's his name. My name is Leap Frog. I'm just acting like I'm the guard frog in this particular. Oh god. <laughs> like I'm quipping. Right. So I was surrounded by these huge guys. Oh. Although I hit his toe. Shouted my to cast friends. Oh shit! Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Uh oh. Uh oh. Oi. Oh. And you guessed it. I have third degree burns all over my legs. Oh, damn. Oh, don't put your feet on my desk. So his suit was defective. Mm hmm. It seemed to be a pretty clear case of manufacturer's defect, uh, negligence, strict liability, and breach of warranty. Yes. She doesn't know where he got it. Oh. It's the same, it's the same dude, Luke. What is the name of the manufacturer? Uh, Luke Jacobson. He specializes in super. Yeah. Do you think maybe Pug could take this one? Mr. Patilio is one of our biggest clients. The guy that dude? What? Yeah. <laughs> They're willing to sign a conflict waiver to have you, Miss Walter. No. I believe I would be ethically compromised in representing a client against Jacobson because I like my nice clothes and I don't want to piss him off. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Well, Luke, I am here um, under some unpleasant business. Nothing has been filed, so I think we can come to some swing. <laughs> He's all offended. How dare you? How dare you? All my life. My... So maybe it wasn't him. I don't know. She Hulk will never get another suit by Luke Jacobs. No. <gasps> exactly what she was <gasps> trying to avoid. You shouldn't have betrayed me, you greasy old buffalo. You are. Bl you shouldn't have betrayed me. <laughs> Can... Goodbye, tragedy. Ah. I think he did make the suit, though. I think that frog guy was in the room the first time she walked in. Mm. Of course, I'm not representing myself, Your Honor. I'm not a fool. Then where is your counsel? <gasps> is it? No! No fucking way! That's how it happened. Finding parking. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. The driver got lost. <laughs> <laughs> As a first point of order, I'd like to ask that the opposing counsel's motion to compel production of the defendant's client list be rejected, as it's not relevant to the litigation. Who's this asshole? <laughs> <laughs> the nature of Mr. Jacobson's line of work, making suits exclusively for superheroes, necessitates anonymity. May I remind you that the Sokovia courts have been repealed. Oh, oh, really? We're not talking about celebrities. We're talking about superheroes who have enemies who will try to harm them. And the people close to them. The ones who didn't ask to be a part of this. I like them going back yeah. and forth. This is what I wanted. Information is not protected. Not only would it ruin my client's career, it could put a lot of people in a lot of danger. That's true. All over one man's misuse of a suit. Oh, he's just trying to save his own ass because he knows he's on the list. Mr. Patilio, what kind of fuel did you use in your boosters? Jet fuel. Oh, he used the wrong oh. one. Fuel in your boosters? Because that's not what my instructions said. Oh. oh. He misused the suit. Jennifer, Jenny, Jen. He's like, no. No. Because I hate you now. Fine, I'll find a new Edna mode then. <laughs> I don't think they grow Edna modes on trees. Well, somebody had to make all the other super suits. That's true. It's from that guy over there. Let's go, Matt Murdock, baby. And he's handsome. 
Oh, he got her an apple teeny because it's green? Yeah. I guess I made a couple of new suits for that, so I would have won. Doesn't really look like it. <laughs> it's a low blow insulting a blind man's clothes. <laughs> I'm wearing pants, right? I'm wearing I'm pants, wearing pants right? right? <laughs> Can you blame me? You came out of nowhere and you made my dumb client admit to being even dumber than I thought he was in court. How did you know about the jet fuel? You could smell it. Mm-hmm. But I do on occasion take a job with a bigger client when the male star pipe. Wow. Hmm. Oh, honey, you have no idea. Right? <laughs> Jen Walters can use the law to help people when society fails them. Hmm. She Hulk can help people when the law fails. Let's go. Oh, that was good. If you choose. The best of both worlds. <gasps> like Miley Cyrus. I was just about to say Hannah Montana. <laughs> We're all feeling this, right? It's not just me. Yeah. No. Todd. Another round. No, I'm so sorry. I have to go. Something has just uh, come up with work. Oh. Oh, he just got a message too? <laughs> it's nice meeting you. Yeah, you too. It was a little awkward. <laughs> oh, does he like her? I think so. <laughs> no. She hadn't messaged back in like two minutes, you know? How cool is that? I mean, I own that now. <laughs> He's like that. <laughs> it's collecting African shit on my level. <laughs> what? Maybe the British Museum and the Louvre. <laughs> really? Wakanda forever. Oh, I, I, that makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> me too. <laughs> They want it back because it, uh, apparently it was stolen by colonizers. Oh. Whatever. I mean, I got the receipts. No, don't drink it. Don't drink it. <laughs> and I can feel it. And I can tell that we're both feeling it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, and I'm billing you for the whole hour. That's what I, yeah. What a dumbass. You gotta help me. I think I'm being attacked. Legally or physically? <laughs> 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 Maybe legally. Is that the lily, <laughs> the lily pad. <laughs> <laughs> the lily pad. Oh my god, that's so cute. She Hulk. She's gonna put on her outfit. The super suit. The soup. <laughs> Where's my, my super, super suit? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he has a green car. Oh, who's oh, on his car? It's Daredevil. Shut up. No, it's not. <gasps> it is. Why is Daredevil on his car? Oh. Oh. oh let's go. <laughs> She's laughing. Oh. Nice. So he knows who she is. He's not gonna try to hurt her, you know? Yeah, but why is he attacking Leapfrog? Whoa! Rip, rip it and rip, rip it! it. <laughs> She's gonna destroy this car? Oh! Oh, oh my god! Shit. She almost killed him! She doesn't know who he is, though! Oh, <gasps> the thunderclap! Oh. Is that gonna bust his eardrums, though? Matt? Wait. Do you pretend to be blind, man? Because that is really. <laughs> do you pretend <laughs> to be blind? <laughs> kind of. It's um. I basically have really good hearing, or at least <laughs> I did. I did. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <The> clap. <laughs> that guy here, he kidnapped Luke Jacobs and he's holding him hostage. Oh. What? Uh, why didn't you ask me before immediately trying to whoop my ass? Uh, I'm sorry that I said <laughs> the guy dressed as the devil was the bad guy. <laughs> Fair point. I'm Daredevil. <laughs> Am I supposed to have heard of you? I'm very daring to use ketchup and mustard as your color. <laughs> yeah, let's go. You ever destroyed a parking lot before? Oh, crap. I'll go leave a note. Oh, crap. I'll go leave a note. <laughs> The lily pads? <laughs> it's lily pad subtle, yeah. I'm talking bulletproof shields. Fancy AI with a British voice that talks to you. Oh wow, this is a dope pad. <laughs> this place, yeah. 
I know you're just being mean because I kidnapped you, but... <laughs> yeah! Guys, what do we think about the name Leap Squad? Leap Squad? <laughs> Leap Squad! There are 25 goons in the building. Seven below us, eight in the front, and ten in the hallway. Oh my god! Wow! Can I hear their heartbeats? Wow! Can you hear yours too? Your heart's beating pretty fast. Oh! What? No, it's not. I'm healthy. I'm healthy. <laughs> I'm healthy. <laughs> He's flirting with her. I'm not gonna sit here for half an hour while you pick off goons one by one. That's not how that math works. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer. Yeah, good thing Sue Hulk is indestructible, Matthew. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Trust me, I've done it. Oh, stealth or busting? I respect. You want to dress up like a frog? <laughs> that doesn't mean I'm cool with being a baby frog. <laughs> That's a baby frog. <laughs> are they goons or henchmen? These are goons. Because they're not down for the cause. They have crossbows? Oh! Oh my god, we're going to get a dope hallway scene. Oh! Let's go! Oh, oh shit! Hoppa! Yeah! Nice. You just bitch slapped him! Let's go! Oh! Was that like. It like extended in the middle? Yeah. In the comics, he uses it to swing like Spider Man. He called him Tadpole 5. <laughs> <laughs> oh, back up. Five more goons. Let's go. Take them out. Oh, yeah, y'all are about to get your ass whipped. Is she going to bust through the wall or something? Let's go and take them all out at once. I knew it. Fantastic. <laughs> she Hulk smash. <laughs> she Hulk smash. I love it. He's like, no, stealth. He's like, come pick me up. Right. I want to be out of here. <laughs> take me. Oh, they're doing it together? Right. I love it when people try and attack her. <laughs> oh my god, did he just break his legs? I think he did, yeah. Nice, they're doing it, they're hanging out. Not really a stick around and talk to the cops kind of guy. Uh, so brooding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was the lead superhero. Uh, you were the guy who wanted to spend half an hour picking off each goon. <laughs> <laughs> you were the woman who caused excessive property damage. That's true. When do you head to New York? Tomorrow. Oh. That's a shame. Wait. Yeah, maybe we can skip all of that and just... Nice! Suck it, Josh. Yeah! You <laughs> suck, Josh! Oh my goodness. Scandalous, I hope he comes back. Matt Murdock's gonna have a Hulk baby. Let's go. <laughs> He's doing the walk of shame with no shoes on. The next morning. <gasps> We're yes. always here. We're always here. There's some guy outside dressed in a devil costume and he's doing the walk of shame. <laughs> with the devil guy. Devil guy. <laughs> All right, and we're happy? Yeah. Okay. You're the devil. You're the devil. <laughs> is, it, is it the kind of twist that's like, oh, there's another Hulk, but this one's red, or like, I'm getting fridged? I gotta make it look amazing. <laughs> she had all the makeup brushes. Wait a minute. She did the Wolverine she thing. She did the Wolverine. The fuck? <gasps> oh, 
She looks beautiful. So shit's gonna go down at this gala, you know? You can't cover up a Luke Jacobson Zoo Hammer Odd collaboration. Well, no. Oh, he's there. He's playing something, I bet. Female Lawyer of the Year award goes to Jennifer Sheehold Walter. Dang. <laughs> Pug, let's go. <laughs> I love that guy. <laughs> I want more of him. Oh. Oh. They're all nominees. Oh. oh. What's it like being a female lawyer? What? What? It's like being a regular lawyer. Twice the work, half the recognition, and you're constantly being asked what it's like being a female lawyer. <laughs> Queen! <laughs> Snaps. <laughs> Thank my parents and my friends and my esteemed colleagues without whom I wouldn't be here today. No! Why is everyone freaking out about this? She's a woman. Did he record her? So they just wanted her to freak out like this? Oh. Oh, there they are. There they are. Go after him. Go, 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 go. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, the DODC is there? What was that? No! What the fuck was that at the end? What was she looking at? I think she was looking at us. <laughs> His walk of shame. I love it. She saw him. <laughs> And it's funny because he was carrying his shoes. Right. And that's what the women do in the morning because <laughs> yeah. they're high heels. He could have just put them on. <laughs> right, yeah, he could have. Well, guys, I think that might have been the best episode this season of She-Hulk so far. At least I know there's one left. However, it kind of ended on a sour note with the whole uh, gala and award show being interrupted by Intelligentsia. Um, I think obviously at this point we all know Todd is involved. I think that's been pretty obvious for the past couple episodes. For sure. Ever since he went on that date and he was asking about, can your skin be pierced? You're and such stuff a like great that. specimen. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that kind of makes me think, because also in this episode from Todd, we saw that he bought a Wakandan spear. We know they're vibranium. Mm. So I was thinking maybe he used the spear to make the tips of the syringes. Yeah, that's what I think too. Because previously he had asked, would vibranium work on you? Like, do you know? And she was like, I haven't really tried, you know? Yeah. So I feel like that's probably where this is going. And that's probably why he brought it up to her, like in, you know, like the lawyer terms. Cause he was like, I can't really give it back because yeah. he melted it down. Because he doesn't have it anymore. Yeah, he doesn't know? have it anymore. Um, so definitely gonna keep an eye on Todd. I think he might've even been that mask guy at the end that yeah, she grabbed. Yeah, because we saw him at the gala too, uh -huh. and he had his little trademark sunglasses on, and so did that guy, but they made, they did a really good job of making sure we really couldn't clearly see his, see his face. face. Yeah. Right. Now, we did see that the DODC was there. I don't know if they were already there, or or what, or they were tipped off that something might happen, because it seemed like they were there within like a minute Within 30 seconds of her pulling down the thing, they were right outside already posted up. So either Intelligentsia informed them or like called them and said like, hey, you know, you need to come to this gala event. Or they were already there thinking something might happen with her. Like assuming because she's a Hulk, she might go off, you know? Yeah, if they just had security or something, I don't think they would be the DODC. Like they couldn't hire the DODC as security, you know? No. So it's like, why were they already there? So it looks like um, Jen's gonna be taken in by them. Mm -hmm. I hope that they're not working with Intelligentsia because then that would be a way for them to get her blood. Yeah. If she's locked up and then they have access to her, they could just put her down or something and then take her blood, you know? Yeah, because as far as I know, I mean, they could still use like knockout gas on her to make her pass out, right? And then- Or they could just trick her into being Jen. Like, hey, we're not gonna talk to you like this. You need to, you know, be Jen, and then they could knock her out or something. Oh, that's right. I didn't even think about that. 
Wow. Okay, yeah. So it's going to be really worrying seeing what happens to her in next episode. Now, obviously, the big thing that happened this episode was we got to see Daredevil. That was awesome. We've been waiting for his reveal since we saw um, his mask in one of the previous episodes. So we knew he was going to show up at some point. I, I did think it was pretty cool that the first time we saw him, it wasn't as Daredevil, but instead it was as Matt Murdock. Yeah. As, you know, him being Luke's lawyer. I thought it was really cool to see him and Jen kind of going back and forth with all the, the lawyer. Jarb. Yeah. <laughs> you know, going back and forth. That was really fun to see. Um, I do want to say, you know, previously we had theorized maybe they would hook up, maybe they would get together, which did happen. And I was very happy to see that. However, I felt like it was a little bit rushed because this episode was only 30 minutes long. Um, the beginning didn't have Matt Murdock and then the end was the gala part. So it was really just like the middle of the episode focused on Jen and Matt and Daredevil and stuff. Right. And I just feel like it went so quickly because we went from the, the courtroom to, to, the bar. to the bar having a drink to you know, I gotta run, we gotta fight Leapfrog or whatever. Yep. And then um, going to the lily pad and then going to the house to hook up. It was, it just happened all so quickly. I, like I got whiplash just watching it, you know? So yeah. I would have preferred if they had maybe stretched that out a couple episodes or a few episodes so that we could get, um, you know, just more character depth to them. And then more of Matt Murdock and Daredevil, obviously. You know? Yeah, because the last time we saw Matt Murdock in Spider-Man No Way Home, mm -hmm. I mean, we only got him as Matt Murdock and it was for a very short period of time. A very short scene, yeah. Yeah, so it was really it was really awesome to see him in this episode. I was a little worried about his costume, uh, considering like a few episodes ago, it was like so gold and I was like, oh, how's it gonna work? But it turned out really well. I mean, his fighting style was really great. I loved the fight sequences in this episode, but that being said, they were so good that I would have really appreciated a few more over a few more episodes. Mm -hmm. But honestly, I'm happy that they got together and I hope this isn't the last we see of him. All right, guys, this was a great episode of She-Hulk. We can't wait to get into the finale next week. So if you want to catch that with us and all the other shows we're watching, you know what to do. Hit the like button and subscribe because it definitely helps us out. Follow our Instagram for some extra content from us. And real quick, we did want to make a shout out to our newest Patreon supporters, Kara, Jacob, Nicholas, and Michael. You guys are the greatest along with all of our other supporters. Now, before we go, we did want to announce another round of voting for our bonus movie reaction on our Patreon. And the movie choices are Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, National Lampoon's Vacation, and Robocop. We've never seen any of these movies before, so we're really excited to see what you guys pick. Now, our last Patreon movie was Batman Returns. We had an amazing time watching the movie. It was so much fun, and it will be exclusively on our Patreon for the rest of this month. So if you'd like to support the channel, get an extra movie reaction, and vote on our next movie, we'll leave a link for our Patreon down below. But as always, you guys are the greatest, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace out, guys. Bye.